seven. First of all, actually, I am going to be there at seven yeah, because I got to set no, up. We're actually going to be there a little <laughs> early than seven. Yeah. But, so think about it. The first hour is open bar. That's like a freaking given. How I'm chugging as much as I can at that exactly. point. Exactly. <laughs> and you're going to be hanging they out They better have Tito's. I well, should have asked them. I know. We should have found out. But the bottom line is you're going to be hanging out with Date Night, Boom Cups, Heart Agency. It's going to be a blast. And DJ Chef will be on the beats. And DJ Chef, who we love, will he also be on the He plays all the beats. old school hip hop, which I love. Freestyle and everything else. Yep. So it's going to be amazing. Excited. What are you going to be? <laughs> you know what? I went Halloween costume shopping, and it was a pure nightmare. I know. Because there's nothing little, pink out there, guys. There's nothing pink out there. It's very hard. I know. And uh, I went to this place, Ruby's in Farmingdale. Thanks to James, our videographer. <laughs> on the suggestion of James. <laughs> Meanwhile, they were like the costume police. <laughs> Literally, you could go into the dressing room with only two costumes. Oh, God. And I had like 20. I'm like, dude, I'll, no, I'll 20. buy 20. They look great. Yes. There was 20 pink ones? No. I was like kind of like. I don't believe it. I wasn't sure about the pink. So oh, I tried on like thanks. 10 and I had the costume police. He's like, ah, oh, you're up to four. I'm like, dude, the I, I got to buy a police. costume. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you were taken out with all the costumes. Oh. They, were, they take you out in handcuffs. No. Like you took too many costumes in, ma'am. Meanwhile, I you're probably would have bought them all had I loved them. And I have to say, I finally found one. I'm going to be an army girl. Right. All right, so I'm I was Army last year, so I didn't want to do the same thing. Which I, I totally I understand. was a paratrooper. Right, and last year I was a cat. So <laughs> I thought I would follow your footsteps and uh, oh, support the Army. Thank you and for supporting it's, us. It's a pink Army, no I love less. It. So that is my uh, costume. But tomorrow night, Jeff and I are going to Chiller. What's that? Which is like, you know Comic Con? Oh yeah, that isn't that where everyone dresses up in the right. uh, so this is for costumes. Movies. Oh, it's where is that? That sounds it's cool. In Jersey, yes. Frank, we're going. Yeah, so we're going there tomorrow, and Jeff is going to be a possessed doctor. So of course I have to be the nurse. Nurse. The crazy nurse. No, I'm never crazy. Ah uh, shoot. I'm going to be the possessed nurse. Good segue. So I have a nurse <laughs> costume and an army costume for Monday. All right. Is it a pink nurse costume? It's white because no one's going to see me anyway. What does it matter? Oh, it's my not God. Being it's white and red. <laughs> what does it matter? I want to go to this. This sounds fun. It's, I told you about Wait, it. Wait, you guys went to the thing I wanted to go to. Uh, the haunted... Uh, the Gold what Coast... What was it? Uh, ghost... What was it? It was... James, what was it? The Gold Coast Ghost... Paranormal. Paranormal. Paranormal investigation. I love that yes. stuff. I will was be it honest haunted? With you, I thought it was a mansion, and when I showed up, I realized it was a church. Oh. Was it and really haunted? It really was not. It was not haunted at all. They talked. They. Oh God, that was terrible. What? They spoke about different locations on Long <laughs> Island. <laughs> Frank's laugh. That were haunted. So, like, for example, the Oika Castle. The Oika Castle's haunted? Well, of course. It's like from a, yeah. A lot of celebrities get married there. Yeah. So, they were talking about different locations that were haunted and that they were telling us. Forget it. I'm bored already, guys. Yeah, no. All right. Exactly. So, the, the I bottom I don't want to say anything. I don't <laughs> want to say anything. She well, stops laughing. Well, we the bottom up. line is, my question is, was it, were you guys walking through, like, a no. haunted thing and people no. were jumping out? I'm glad I didn't go. I know. To be honest. Frank, what are you yelling at me if I made him go? When we showed up, my sister's like, dude, this is what this is? I thought it was a mansion. It's a church. This huh. stinks. Oh Glad we didn't God. go, guys. Glad we didn't go. I know. Did you go pumpkin picking? No, we did not go pumpkin picking. Oh, did right. you? No, no one will go with me. Wait, what do you mean no one will go with me? Exactly. You? We'll ask Frank when he's live on the Is that true? <laughs> so you had no one to go with you? He's walking away. No. Interesting. That's very interesting. Whatever, guys. It doesn't so wait, matter. What do you I don't mean? even, why, why do I even want to do it anyway? Wait. Because you want a pumpkin. It's like a fun experience. No? Who am I carving it for? Whatever. For your neighbors? For the, the kids, neighbors? The kids? The kids are going to want the candy? My nephews. Forget the no kids. one's coming to my garage. Forget the kids, too. I know. <laughs> I like Halloween for dressing up, but candy. You giving. do like dressing up? I don't really. Yeah. 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 yeah, you guys do? All right. Wait, I feel so like I'm too old. What are you going to be for Halloween? I don't know. <laughs> I thought you had a couple of <laughs> It's going to be a surprise. I don't know. Maybe I'll be James. I'm going to put the date night stash shirt. Put the date night shirt on. <laughs> now, now I might be an 80s rocker chick. All right. that's Because that was a pink dress with like a black jacket. Like Madonna like? Right. It has like the pointy. Breasts? Correct. Thank you for verifying that. You're going to have pointy breasts? Correct. Pointy bra, pointy bra. <laughs> I love it. That's great. Are you I don't gonna know. Are you going to have the Madonna glove? Yeah. Oh, you are. Cool. Yep. Interesting.
Okay. I might do that. I'll be the Army supporting the United States. Thank you for doing people. that. We appreciate your support. <laughs> It was only pink on no. was fine. What can I tell you? Whatever. At least it's pink. I know. So first of all, I just want to say, too, we had an amazing time last Saturday. Which seemed Where were we? I don't remember Wait. anything. Was it last Saturday or the Saturday before? <laughs> was it last Saturday? Price and dinner. We went to the Healthy Guru event. Yes. That was last Saturday. The Healthy Guru event uh, run by Carrie Brudner. Amazing. We did the Hamptons one, which was amazing. And now she did one in New York City. Amazing. We saw all our friends there. Justin Galban, the Victoria's Secret model trainer. Um, Carlos. Cor Carlos Leon of Belly on Body. Carlos Amazing. I love, I love, love him. them all. And it's so funny. He, they all want us to come train with them. We got to go. Know. That, I know. But we you know have what? to do it. So last Saturday. Was it last Saturday? Yeah, it was last Saturday. I mean, I, I was up early. You were up early. Yes. Getting ready for this event. We were yes. there in the city by like 8.30. That's right. Oh, I was God. starving all day. I was starving too. We were eating like little snacks off the like convent, you know, the yeah, the different tables. tables yeah, but we we had a great time. It was we amazing. Met a lot of great people. And what about the chick from uh, America's Got Talent? Yes, Sky, Sky Cats, you know, right? Cats, yeah. She rapped for us. She's a <laughs> she great. was adorable. We put her on the spot. She wasn't prepared to rap for I know. us because we were checking out at about two p.m. and she yes. was probably rapping around two thirty. And we're like, Sky, you got to rap for us. And she's like. Can I? And her manager finally said yes. <laughs> she was, like, right, she was great. And then she, she did a Biz Marquee uh, remake. That was awesome. She did? I had James take some footage of it. Oh, excellent. We'll be editing that into the uh, right, so footage. Yeah. But it was a great turnout. It was raining. It was so raining. So it wasn't as packed as it was at the Hamptons event. But no, but it was, a it was, I have to give a lot of props to Carrie. She does a great job. She really it's does. A great event. You learn so much about different, what's new in nutrition, yep. what's new in terms of uh you know, like working out mm -hmm. and like the latest and greatest. And we hung out with Trisha. Oh, I loved her. Lady Gaga's, Gaga's trainer. trainer. I she loved her. She was amazing. She was so cool. She was doing very positive and headstands. Oh my God, she's all. so flexible. She's totally flexible. I wouldn't even be able to do any. Frank Vetro could do a split. No. He told me no. that. And you know what? Wait a second. Now that I'm thinking about Frank it, could do a split. I mean, that's what he told me, guys. I want to see him. Uh, I want to see him. Me camera. too. And you know what? You might see it live tonight, guys. So stay tuned. <laughs> this is like I I've never, I can't I've believe never, it either. I would never I can't even imagine. Me either, right? When you look at him, you can't believe it, right? No, I can't. <laughs> but Frank Vetro can do a tonight. split, and I want to see it, and I'm sure everybody at home wants to see it. I'm sure our audience in our, in our studio wants to see it, exactly. I want a front row seat to that one, baby. That's interesting, so we're going to check that out. Yeah, I can't wait to check it out. Right. So yeah. He won't do it for me, I keep asking Wait, him. what do you mean he won't do it for he you? He won't give me a private uh, split. He won't? Look at him, he has Frank, his head what's in. up with that? I know, Frank, I don't get it. a private split? Yeah, I don't get it. We have you three times. We're going to do a date night split tonight. <laughs> a Frank Vetro. <laughs> a Frank, a Frank Vitro Frank. date night split. Vetro. Let's yeah, not screw up his name. Though I do want his dad on the show because his dad does say Vitro. And his dad goes, yeah, goes for uh, I Vitro. I trust the dad. Do you trust the dad or, or Frank? You know what? Since I thought Frank Vetro's name was Vitro for like the longest time, yeah, so I'm going to go I. with the dad. I think it Me too. I'm going with the dad. I'm going with the dad. Yeah. But I do want to see Frank split. You want to see a split? <laughs> I, can't. I can't. But anyway, we had an amazing month. Yeah. We've been out and about, crazy busy. So listen, guys. If well, and check out Erica Cole's salon because oh. we have something coming up special for you next week. Connie and I got these awesome facials done. You'll see our before and after. My after was not very good. Connie's no, was a bit. was good. I looked like an Oompa no. Loompa, but we'll have that picture next week. Right. So just to give you guys an update, Chrissy and I are very into beauty because obviously as you get older, you want to make sure that you look great. That's right. And man. so we love, and which is our salon of choice, is the Erica Cole Salon in Inside Sayasa. Asset. Yep. On and Jerica. it's owned by Carolyn, who we absolutely love. They do our hair. Great. They do our face. And we just recently had the vampire facial, which was also seen on the Kim Kardashian, yep. Keeping Up with the Kardashian show. When she was all bloody. When she was all bloody. <laughs> yeah. And it, what's so interesting is that is not even the case. No. So I when, thought that's what it was going to be. Right. That's why I was nervous. Right. So what happens is, just to kind of you know, give you a quick update on how it works, basically they take your blood, and what they do is they separate the platelets mm -hmm. and your blood, 
and then they take the platelets and they apply it to your face, and that's after they do microneedling. Right. Which is a really well. Like, they're putting that on your face, and then the microneedling is pushing it into your yeah, face. Yeah, and yes. even microneedling seemed a little. Like, I was a little scared of I it. was, too, because there's needles going into your face. Right, but I have to say, I wasn't scared. It didn't hurt. No. It was actually pretty painless. Yeah, I and felt I great. I was yelling to you to the other room. Right. Connie, exactly. are you all right? I'm like, dude, <laughs> I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm like, James, where are you? We need the video. We need the video right. camera. So I have to say, it was a pretty easy, painless yes. experience, but the results have been amazing. Yep. Frank, do you think I look great? I mean, I have to say, he look at that care. face. That's like, a, I know. oh my God, you're a hot face. Is it? Of course. He looks disgusted. <laughs> He's like, when no. can I do my, He's like, when can I do my split? <laughs> well, you know what? You'll do it soon. All right, calm down over there. No, but anyway. So <laughs> my mom was, can't wait to see it. The <laughs> facial was amazing. And what made it so amazing is a lot of my friends that I know do Is Botox. that the commercial side? No, hold on, James. All right, so listen. A lot of people out there do Botox, right? And Botox is great, and it has a lot of benefits. And what you do is you take this outside substance and you put it in your face. Not the natural. Great thing about, the great thing about the vampire facial, which is also the PHP? PH, uh, PRP. PRP. Oh, PRP crap. facial. PRP, yeah. yeah. So basically, it's like Botox Lately. from the inside out, which means it takes your natural mm -hmm. fluids and it gives you the same benefits as Botox. Correct. Like, and cool it's building collagen back into your skin. And it takes like three to four weeks to do that, but right. you and can just do it naturally. I, I would rather do that than the Botox. Totally. It's natural. And so anyway, we did it at Erica Cole Salon in Syosset, so you have to check yes. it out because i got to tell we you. We love them. Of all the facials, that was the absolute best facial I've ever had. Ever. And LaVere, the one who did my facial, she was texting me after. She's like, are you okay? Well, like, I was was <laughs> like I was dying. Like I was dying. But I had Roe. Roe was equally amazing. She was she so sweet. She did a great sweet. job. I mean, I have I to love say, them both. they have the best uh, estheticians. Yeah. Here, so check it out. And we'll have Carolyn on next week. Yeah, which we're super excited about. So now it's time for my star loving life tip of the Can't day. Can't wait to hear it. So is it up there? No, I'm gonna just All right, put it then. out there. <laughs> All right, so this is the deal, right? So think about life, right? You you are your own worst critic. But what happens is we want to go further in life, but the problem is we never give ourselves credit for what we have now. So the goal is what you have to remember is you have to give yourself credit for what you've accomplished to this point, point. and it doesn't have to be major. But give yourself credit. And the thing is, we're the most critical of ourselves. And when you're critical of yourselves, that's the worst thing to do, and it holds yourself back. So what you want to always do is give yourself credit. You try something new. You invest in yourself. You do something for you. you got to give yourself credit. I Be love it. Be kind to yourself, right? Like, come yes. on. What I love it. What else are you going to do? Exactly. What else are you going to do? <laughs> what else are you going to do? you got to be nice to yourself. I don't know. That was a good one. You haven't done that one before. <laughs> Recently. All right, well, my bestie is something I gave you for your birthday. I have to say, I love this bestie. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Finally, you're complimenting me. Oh, you're like Frank. It's usually it's, an app. <laughs> yeah, good. I know, it is usually an app, a yeah. dating app. Uh, it's called Well Kept. I yeah. saw this in Sephora, so I'm online in Sephora buying stuff, like yeah. I always do. And I see this on, you know, how they have a bunch of stuff, like Which when you're going. It's genius marketing, right. because it makes you It is genius buying marketing, stuff you're right. That you normally wouldn't. Yes. This is for the cell phone. Because you use your cell phone all the time. You're putting all that dirty stuff uh -huh. on your face. And we just had that nice facial, so we yeah. don't want to jack it up. Anyway, did you know that research <laughs> suggests that the to that this your cell phone's dirtier than a toilet bowl? No. Yeah, guys. Yep, it's really? on the back of this packet. You're yeah. kidding me. Yep. Yep. So now you have these. And you can just wipe the phone. You I carry it in my pocketbook. Have you used it? I love it. I use it all the time. Are you lying to me right no. now? No. <laughs> I, I didn't even use it yet. Uh, it's wait, been in my what? pocket. Because I didn't want to ruin it. I didn't want to ruin it for oh my bestie. My but now I'm going to use it starting tonight. You have 15 wipes in here. No, I use it and it like it dries really fast. Because you don't want to get acne on your skin. No. You don't want to jack up your skin. Makeup. I don't want my makeup to be for cost and I don't want Correct. my phone to have But you know what? It. That's why I don't put my phone up to my face. I always put it on speakerphone. Yeah. I agree. That's why I don't like doing it. when you're driving and you're lit talking. Correct. Not that you should be. But, you know, right, you like, can get arrested and you yeah. can get a ticket. And then Good like, one, Connie. Oh, you're promoting yeah. tickets. Exactly. <laughs> but anyway, do that. you can get it to four. I don't know. It was like six bucks. I gave it to you for your birthday. I love it. Thank you. It's by Well Kept and Clear and Healthy Skin, baby. That's right. No acne for you. That's right. That's right. I'll give it to Frank as a gift. 
It was a consolation prize. There you go for a split. <laughs> He's going to do a split tonight. <laughs> All right, guys, so listen, we are going to do, because we see James. Why don't you show our face for the commercial sign? I know. We see James Thank you. holding the commercial sign. And we have the very amazing Frank Vetro, author of Standing on Principle. The only guest that we have invited back for the third Three time. Three times, yep. Three times. And, uh, he must he have been in with the show somehow. That's right. He was falsely accused. He's here today to talk about how he, he came out on accused. the other side. Well, I'm saying it's a yeah. positive. He came out on the other side. He's a great guy. We love him. And uh, the book is great. The book is great. I got to page 112. You did? And then it, and then you it just told me. reading it. I just, exactly. That's how good I am. That's how much I care about him. That I read it, started reading it last night. Oh I was my tired. God. But I didn't go to bed. I just kept reading it. And then and it you told me. 112? Yeah. Pages? And then it told me I had four hours and something minutes left. I'm like, what the? I thought it was only 100 and something pages. But no. He decided to write 288 pages. The so thanks, Frank. <laughs> I'll but be up for Frank the next Frank is going nights. to add an addendum in the future uh, version of uh, Standing Up Principle, and there will be a page of Dana with Connie and Chrissy. That's right. And his debut on the show. But we love you, Frank, and uh, he'll be here to talk about his book in a minute. <laughs> That's right. So we're going to take a quick commercial break. Most people, when they think of vodka, think of the cold climates of Russia, Poland, and Sweden. Not this. Ah, oh, yeah. But here in Austin, Texas, we're on the trail of a vodka that's making waves throughout the spirit business, beating the Russians and some of the biggest names in vodka at their own game and winning a lot of awards in the process. Of course, you'd never know it by the looks of it. So, why vodka? Why not scotch or uh, whiskey or uh, beer? Well, I had a plan initially to do all kinds of whiskey and vodka. But I went to the liquor store, they told me, if I could make a really smooth vodka that a girl could drink straight, then I would have something. They sell more vodka than they do whiskey. It's the biggest segment of the liquor industry. If I have a chance at this, I better go for a big segment of the market. And I thought, that's it. While Tito made the origins of his vodka sound simple, he was in fact a former petrochemical engineer who tinkered his way to vodka success using pictures of old moonshine stills as his guide. Well, this is where it all started right here. This is a pot still, kind of like the, uh, the French cognacs and the single malt scotches, but this whole setup obviously is handmade. Might not look like much, but it produces some really fine liquor out of this still right here. So what is it that you put into your vodka that makes it so famous and successful? Well, my vodka is made out of 100% corn. People think that it's made out of potatoes, but most vodka is made out of grain. How many from corn? You know, I don't know for sure, but but uh, but out of taste in everybody else's, I think that mine might be the only one out of corn. To answer your question, it's really what you take out of it that makes it so good. Deep in the heart of Texas. So whether it was the limestone purified Austin water or the fact that Tito distills his vodka at least six times, we had discovered that in the world of super premium, beautifully packaged vodkas, you can't always judge a vodka by its label. I try to just make the world's best vodka and keep it, keep the quality the same every time. I don't make a fancy package or anything because you drink the vodka and you don't drink the glass bottle. So there you have it from here at Tito's Handmade Vodkas in Austin, Texas. Cheers. Vitro, Vitro. Don't Vitro. jack up. <laughs> Don't jack up the poor it's guy's me. name. He went through enough. He doesn't need his name jacked up. Frank Vetro. He's our only guest that's been on three times. Three times. Congratulations. How do you feel three about times. that, Frank? Feel, do you feel uh, special? I feel great about that. <laughs> Dude, you, feel, you should feel, feel amazing. Feel Come great. on. I can't I'm fucking excited. That. Three oh times. Just Frank. Book that's out. amazing. Really, three times. Oh, it's great. I know. Frank, I'm, he I'm honored. Really? And I really like your new set. Thank you very much. It's, it's uh, heavenly. Heavenly! He's, exactly. He's being sarcastic. No, I'm not. Frank I is not, not being sarcastic. All right, show us how you feel by doing the split. 
I have to warm up first. <laughs> he has to do his stretch. Right. I have to warm up. <laughs> yeah. Frank wa wrote his amazing book, Standing on Principle, which I've been reading. It's doing very well. Thank you. It's, and I heard it's doing amazing. You'll line up you the think door every and... school should have this book? I do. And I you think, think everybody every, should read it. You think every student should read this book? I think everybody should read this book. And what's the premise of the book? Yes. Um, well, it's about overcoming adversity. Mm -hmm. Which is something that yeah. everyone experiences in life. It's how I, I went through a rough go in life. I, had, I went from a, um, being on top of the world. I lost everything. But the way I approach life, I learned you know, growing up. Um, you know, you visualize. I visualized I had a plan. So I had a question. plan and Why I succeeded. The bottom came out from under me. Things oh, happened. So the bottom came out from under <laughs> me. But, you know, don't fret. You know, don't panic. And you just, I got another plan. And I visualized again. And but where did you learn that? Let's talk about that. How to visualize? You, yeah. You did martial arts. You know, people ask me because when I was, I was a high, public high school, I'm a principal now in a private school, but when I was a public high school principal. Oh, wait, let's just say, because you were a principal in a public high school very young. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Middle school and high school. Yeah, so that's pretty amazing Hampton in itself. Bays. So how, how old were you when you actually became a principal? I went to Hampton Bays at 31. Right, like, which is very crazy. impressive. Yeah, it's, I was yeah. doing very, I was He's doing very pretty smart. good. I yeah. mean, I had a plan. I really had a plan in life. Yeah. And, and I stuck to it. You know, you see where you want to be and you work your way back. So you were a principal at 31. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. I was, do, I was doing good. I was in Hampton Bays. He's a smart guy. Out east, east in Long Island. I was, uh, loved it. Loved everything. And then you moved on to Hampton Bays. What did you go after that? Or you were in Hampton Bays? No, that was it. was Hampton Bays. No, that was it. That was it. I was Hampton Bays. He was a science teacher. Living large and then, you know, the bottom Wait, you were a science teacher? At first. Right. At first. I couldn't stand science. That didn't have me as a teacher. I was a biology and I was a chemistry teacher. What? I'm not, what? You thought I was a gym Is teacher, right? Is your name right? Walter White? <laughs> you thought I was a phys ed teacher, right? No, but he went on to better things. I know. He was making a lot of that's money. Great. I was doing good. <laughs> so, wow. A principal at 31. That's great. So, anyway, yeah. I was doing great. And I was loving it. I loved what I did, you know? But mm -hmm. then, you know, things happen. And, you know, sure. you have some bumpy roads. And so, I lost it. I lost everything. But, you know, stay positive. I stayed po I did stay positive. If I didn't stay positive, I'll tell you what. I learned one thing I learned early in life is that if you don't believe in yourself, then nobody else is going to believe in you. Exactly. You have to believe we in yourself. I love that. I so do love that. We I learned that in seventh it. seventh grade. I learned that from my teacher, Mr. Sam Perry, my Wait, Italian teacher. So why? What what came up that that was so big deal? Um, well, when I was in seventh grade, uh, Mr. Sam Perry, I actually wrote about this in my book. Mr. Sam Perry um, believed in me. I was a kind of like always in trouble, smart kid, but in trouble, and I was in reading, but. If you were smart enough, you could take a foreign language at the time, back in the 80s or mm -hmm. whatever it was. So they wouldn't let me. Oh, the principal, nobody would let me to guidance. Nobody recommended me for anything because they said, this guy's always in trouble. He can't do it. He can't were handle the workload. Were you like a smart load. ass? I, I was, no, but mm -hmm. I had a bad temper. You had a temper. I had a short fuse. And really? not against, I was respected authority, but when things went wrong, that's it. I didn't, mm. don't mess around. I, I needed to go right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but respected authority, I got good grades. And Mr. Sam Perry, we had a whole meeting with like superintendent, and I don't know why we pushed so hard, but Mr. Sam Perry said, "Give this kid a chance." Oh. And I remember I was right there, and I'm like, "Wow, I can't believe this guy's doing this for me." And I did great. And after one year, they put me in the accelerated course. And at the this end of the a, year, a foreign language? Yeah, Italian. So Mr. Sam Perry comes <laughs> up to me at the end of the year after he puts me. In, I'm in the accelerated course. And at the, after one year, he says to me, he goes, "Frankie," and uh, he has this Italian accent. He goes, "Frankie." Remember, like, uh, I don't know word for word now, but he goes, remember, uh, in life, you know, people are going to not believe in you. You have to believe in yourself. Right. You have to try hard and believe in yourself. Wow. And I'm like, wow, this is really deep for, like, a 12-year-old. But, right. but I, obviously, I did remember it, and I was like, wow, this guy laid it out there for me. So I did well because I wanted to show them, but I did it for him. Like, now, Frank, can you speak Italian? Um, you All think right. I would. Okay. You think All I right. would, right? right? I'm in who's, and I'm actually, <laughs> hang on, I'm in who's who. Among foreign language students, I'm in this book. So I'm, I'm in oh, a book. Wow. I, yeah, I have to, speak and Italian. My family's from Italy, the whole nine yards. Okay. We All right. Get to Italian class. Yeah, okay. exactly. But I was very good in Italian. All right, but wait, can you talk about how you visualize? Like, where did you learn all that? You took martial arts, you I were in Taekwondo, arts. right? Yeah, I took martial arts. That saved me. Mm -hmm. Martial arts saved me when I was. You know, I'm in the kitchen and I'm, and I'm losing my temper. 
in the, in the kitchen. kitchen? Yeah, I've just always lost my temper. In your kitchen? My kitchen at home. At home. And my mom, who I love more than anything. As a kid? Yeah, I had a bad temper. I always got into fights. Wait, I'm very confused, Frank. You had a bad temper? Why you would never you have know a bad it, right? temper? You never know. No. Right? I'm pretty calm, cool, and clear. Yeah, I know. why would you I'm have a bad temper? I'm proud of my best accomplishment. I'm good. I'm curious now. Uh, because I didn't like foul play. I didn't. I, I respected authority. I was a good wow. kid. So maybe that's why but you attracted. But I, pick, I picked. I didn't pick fights actually. Like I would. Like I also got beat up a lot. Like I would fight. I would be in like eighth grade fighting a kid in college, and I get beat odd. up. Okay. Because I just like I didn't just I wasn't a bully. I'm a little guy. I wasn't a bully. I'm not a big guy. Yeah. I just fought fights that I thought needed to be fought. Mm. You know. I didn't. And then later on in life, there's another sense. way of dealing with problems besides right. blowing a gasket. But okay. anyway, so I'm in the kitchen losing my cool, and my mom yells at me. She goes, Frankie. I love you. You're me and my son. I'm sorry. But I don't like you. And that hit me like Aww. I never got hit before. You wrote that in your book. I yeah, and I, I really, I see the vision still. And I'm, that, that was the day. It took me a long time to, to change, but I was like, I Is your mom still here with us? Oh, yeah. She's yeah. amazing. She, I'd be dead about her. She's so she amazing. sees or saw early on that you had a temper, and she's oh, like, yeah. Dude, get, you gotta calm yeah, it down. Yeah, chill it out. Yeah. So I took martial arts, like Chrissy said, and um, you know, there's a lot of things that could help you with discipline. You know, anything, sports, whatever. Maybe. For some reasons, I, I did a lot of sports. So I played a lot of sports, but martial arts did it for me. I really embraced the whole philosophy. You know, the whole it wasn't Mindset. just physical. Right. Okay. It was mental too, and that that's when I really started to visualize. I did. I, I just embraced the whole thing. I was like, this is great. So that got you through when you were going through. It that, oh horrible. yeah, no question about. It. Well, even before that, it helped me visualize where I wanted to be in life. Well, and yeah. What made you want to be a teacher then? After that, that was an accident becoming a teacher. That's no, that's not a big story. You wanted that to be a physical total, therapist, that, which I didn't know until yeah. I started reading what? your book. What? That that's not even a good story. That's like I, I just stumbled upon. It. Wait, <laughs> so wait, you graduated high school? What? And I went to Stony Brook and University. And I don't get it. The I guidance counselor University. was getting you into a physical therapy program, and yeah. you denied it. I can it. see you as that. I, I don't understand that. No, I wrote about why I denied it. No, I wanted you... to stay back and help my younger brother. Okay. Yeah, that's another story, though. Right. There's a lot of stories. Read the book. It's an amazing book, of course. I've been reading it, No bias it, guys. here. I've been reading There's it. No my bias mom here. read it. My sister uh, read it. Kane read it. Um, so wait, so you knew you wanted, you didn't know you wanted to be a teacher? I wanted to be, this is what I wanted. I wanted to be a trainer for the New York Rangers. Rangers. That's right. And I, I would have loved so that. So the last day of school. I love the Rangers. Another teacher. See, everybody asks, how did you become a, you know, you were a good, I don't want to. I don't, I don't want to pat myself on the back, but I was pretty good at being a, uh, When I was a principal in the Bays, everybody was like, how you, you're so good at this. What I did was I was really a guy who took it all in. Like, who was your mentor? Who taught you? Nobody. I just, I remember life, and I remember what I liked out of people. And what's maybe more important, I remembered what I didn't like. Uh -huh. That's okay. probably more important. Even. Yeah. And I kind of discarded it, and I remembered things, and I remembered how to do things. So Mr. Terry, this is terrific. Right, remember all these teachers. Yeah, Ooh, I remember. Yeah. See, a teacher, and I write this in the opening of my book, that, you know, you, teachers, you don't know it, it's a paid-forward profession. You don't know how much good you might do for someone because they move on in life, and they mm -hmm. should. And you should perhaps never see them again. That's right. fine. You know, move on. But you don't know also how much bad you can do, how much harm you can do to a yeah, kid. Yeah, you don't realize you how much do. influence you can do yeah, to a kid, negative good or, or bad. Positive, right. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. something you might say, one sentence could be psh. Right. So Mr. Terry's sitting down with me at the end of the senior year, my economics teacher, great guy. And we're sitting in the student desk next to each other. But, you know, it's the end of the year. We're just hanging out. The, the room's in disarray. And he's like, well, hey, what do you want to, Frank, what do you want to be? When, you know, I said, wow, man, love the New York Rangers. Always dreamed. I said, dreamed about being a trainer for the New York Rangers. And he goes, well, here I am. I'm a gang. Yeah. I'm ready to take on the world. Gang I'm going to graduate. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. And he, he goes, killed it. He killed he it. He goes, Frank, don't ever dream. Like, oh. No, but I like what he said he next. Goes, he goes, but I, like, I read like, that. Like, I love respect this. Like, what are you talking no, about? No, I like this. No, I like no, this. No, but he I, said, I like this. he says, he goes, when I you like wake up from a dream, it's gone. You can't touch it. I'm glad they Take that dream. Take your dream. Yeah. And Let's turn it into a goal. I love that. And work towards that goal. That was awesome. And I, I want, him, yeah, on the, I want kinda, him on the show. Yeah, but he kind of killed it. No, I but, don't I, think but so. I remember what he said, and I made, mm -hmm. and that day, every day, I make go every day there's a new goal, there's goals. Every mm -hmm. day I have goals. Short term goals, long term goals. What I want to be in five years. And you years, like to make what lists. I wanna, what <laughs> he a, likes list, to write everything What I want to do list. today. Yeah, listen. He's like right? you, and he's like my sister. The three so you, of you so are you, the so same. So you make goals, and, and 
actually between that and the martial art, because martial arts you have to visualize, because if you don't see yourself breaking a brick, you're not breaking that brick. Mm, so that's yep. all there's to it. You have to you see it, be it, right? That's not, right. nothing yep. original. So you, you just see right. it, and you had to see it, and and then I, and then combine the, the physical aspect and the, and the, you know the spirituality of it all with Mr. Terry and professionally, and I was like, I know where I want to be, right? But not everything works out. Like I wanted to be a, the trainer, that didn't work out. But it does always work out. Yes. Well, because yeah, it gives I understand. you what you need to get you to where you're wanting to go. Right. It was like it's like a toolbox. Like you just of course. tools for life. Yeah. You hang on all to right. it. Tara, so how did you become a teacher? So I took all these science courses. You know, like everybody else, I kind of fell into the trap of college. Did you I didn't love do. Science? I, I didn't do that good. And like you know, you yeah. fell into that trap. So whatever. And um, I'm in school two years go by. Three years go by and. Uh, and physical therapy was, at the time at least, was extremely competitive. I went to Stony Brook University, which was like... A great school. Yeah, and great for physical therapy. It's like, you know, one of the best in the United States. And nobody was accepting me because I turned it around, but it was too late my right. first couple of years. So I go to my advisor, and she says, man, look at all these science courses. And she just jokingly said, there are science teachers that don't take as much science as you. She says, you want to be a teacher? I'm like, all right. She goes, well, what do I have to do? Anything to get out of here. <laughs> just, just take the student teaching and the seminar that goes with it, and you're graduating. Like, I'm in. Next thing you know, I'm a teacher. So, so wait, what made you take so many science courses? Physical therapy. Mm. I wanted to, oh. you know. But did you love science? Nah. I was, yeah, I, yeah, liked, I, was, I was actually really did good like at science. It. I like my, yeah. another teacher, Mr. Massey. I liked Frank Massey. He was a great teacher. Oh, my teacher. God. He was always I know all these teachers. I don't remember any. Do you remember I have any a, teachers? I remember everybody. I, well, I remember, I remember everybody. Everybody. one, my social studies teacher. I, I loved everybody. him. But I only yeah. liked his personality. Yeah. I was terrible I don't remember any. And then a funny thing, funny thing happened. Two, two, maybe three years into teaching, I, I discovered, because I stumbled upon teaching, you know? And I was like, I don't know exactly how, but I remember like, wow, I do care. I, got, I cared about the kids. I really right. did. Of course. And then, um, I don't know. Because you probably envisioned what you were like as a kid, and you're like, oh, if I could help Ooh. them yeah. the way I wish Well, things I that didn't come easy to me, when it doesn't come easy to you, you so right. I'm, just, well, I'm not smarter than the next guy. I just try hard. Mm -hmm. I try hard. So when the kids don't understand it, right. I, I understand why they don't understand right, it. Right, of course. So, wow, and then so I started, became an educator. And then I visualized. I got a late start in education. And then I visualized, like, Wait, you know, what do you mean you got a late start? Well, I wasn't, you know, 21 out of college teaching. How I, old were you? I was still young, but I'm still young. I was 23, you know. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 24. My 24. Yeah, actually, yeah, three actually, years. Actually, actually 24. 24. I was 24. 24. All right, my sister was 23 when she started. I was 24. And mm. then, um. That's young. And then I was like, listen, this is what I want to do. So in seven years, you became a principal. Seven years. I said, this is what I need to do. And what do I need to do to get See? there? He's good. And then I did. And I was like, okay, boom. Boom. And then I and I and I, I did it. I, I I knew exactly what needed to be done. I talked to the people. I talked to everybody. Got all the information. Took away the negatives that I didn't like. Things that wouldn't mm -hmm. fit me. And the negatives, by the way. And I took the positives and and I took it all in. And I just. Where were you a teacher? Uh, to William Floyd uh -huh. High School and Newfield High School. So Newfield. How did you get from Newfield to Hampton Bays to be a principal? How does that work? I just sent. I got my administrative degree. I went back to see. I went to school. I got a. I had my bachelor's in science. Then you go back. You get a master's degree. You have to have yeah. a master's degree. After that, I got 90 mm -hmm. additional credits in like. How do you pronounce it? Pedagogy. Pedag I have right? no idea. Anyway, 90. Whatever. And then when I was done, <laughs> then when I was done with that, I was like, you know what? Let me go back to Queens College and I got my administrative certification to be superintendent. And I said, then I just applied. And you just applied for Hampton Bays and got it. I applied to a lot of schools. I got interviewed in Hampton Bays, which is perfect for me because it's a small school. Yeah. I've only been associated mm -hmm. with really large schools. Middle country is huge. I went to Longwood High School, then William Floyd High School, Student Toilet Station High School, all huge districts. Um, Hampton Bays was tiny. So my only fear was I didn't want to lose touch with the kids. Right. But in Hampton Bays, I could be the principal and still know all the kids. It was right. perfect. And it was perfect. Wow. It was perfect. I, I knew all the kids. They loved me. I loved them. And we, oh, we did great. That's it was so great amazing. things happening. I'm 31. That's it, it was good. There was good things happening. You know. That's great. Yeah, it, it was good stuff. Mm -hmm. And then when when well, you know things went wrong, but then I visualized again, and I'm in the middle of it right now. To vis like I'm almost done actually with my what I envisioned. And so you hit rock bottom, but no problem. Mm -hmm. And I and I had a conversation with a guidance counselor in Hampton Bays actually, who I hired, mm -hmm. and he goes, Frank, you know, what would you you know, would you rather have what you have inside, or would you rather be set in life and and just be already ha you know be set in life and be born with everything. Or would you rather have what you have, like you know, as a person, not me personally, but just right. yeah. anybody? And I said, you know, I'd rather have me, because I know if I lose everything, I'll get it back. Right. And 
So I never, I just never stopped believing in myself. That's great. It wasn't an easy That's time. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to make it, but no, when you believe, so when you believe, and you stay now. positive and make it up. Yeah. So let's talk about uh, what you Frank's doing a now. great guy. All right. So let's talk about Dean. <laughs> wait. Let's talk about. So wait. <laughs> nah, so right, right. Right now, Frank has this show. So Frank has a great radio show on great, W L I N Y. Tell us about that. The V Train. Yeah, it's part of my visualization. I, I, and, and that's vision, right. You said you I, I and, that's, and, and just so everyone knows, that's how we met Frank Vetro mm -hmm. yeah. because we were doing a show on Long Island News Radio. Yes, and actually David Levenstein set had me up Frank on a date with him. Vetro as a guest on our show. Well, he set me up on a date and try to set him up with and Christmas. send us to Denny's. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. And he never for, he that's never a, sent us there. That's a whole other show. But he that's never how we sent ended us up to meeting Denny's. You. I don't remember that part. You don't remember that? The Denny's part? We were making fun of it. The what? fact that you were going to Denny's I kept date. going on and on about it. I'm like, you're going to send us to Denny's? Is there even a Denny's around? I never saw a Denny's. There's one like, in Center What kind of date oh. night is that? Yeah, uh, so they that. tried to set me up with Frank on a date, and here we are. Here a we year are. later, I'm friends with him. Exactly. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> all right, so, all right, guys. <laughs> right. We're so, wrapping right, up. So, so wait, so tell us, uh, Frank, about your show. My show is uh, social commentary. I comment on it. It's news commentary. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. And, but I sprinkle in because my first, um, what I wanted to do after I got, after I overcame everything I, I went through, I wanted to be a voice for other people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I speak out and help. I advocate for other people going through similar situations because I, I remembered how much I wanted people to hear me uh -huh. and I couldn't be heard. So I, I try to make sure that if you have an issue, I'm your voice. Come on. Oh. So I advocate for people going through uh, anything in life. If you have a story to tell, here I am. That's great. And I'll help you out. If I can, I'll help you myself because I don't want you to suffer the way I did. And it's also news commentary. Anything that's going on in the news, I comment on. Ask him about the election. <laughs> Don't. So we're going to just say, <laughs> let's get sure Let's get Frank riled up. You uh, could, no. no. You'll agree this election, or the debates, you watch the debates, obviously. Yes, of course he does. It's very comical. Yeah. And uh, I'll leave it at that. Yeah. There's nothing more to say about that. Why? Okay. Why? Because they're horrible. I, I'm, like, embarrassed. This isn't the I'm forum. <laughs> what? This isn't the forum for this. No. For that. I guess. I'm not right. sure what side he's on, and it doesn't really matter, because I'm, you know. I know what side yeah. he's on. It's just, it's just, it's just funny. I'll just say that. Funny? It's, it's, um, it's media-driven. And they want the reality and the and the, the, the circus. And yep. it's funny. So people watch. It's yep. ridiculous. Yeah. Actually. So all right. So you have your. Dean ain't the, not a fan of that. <laughs> no, we don't like that stuff because we always focus on the positive, and it doesn't matter. And to be honest with you, this is how we feel. It doesn't matter who's president because we create our own reality, and we don't need a president to dictate how our life's going to be. That's our right. Life's going to be fucking amazing. Oh, Connie cursed. And what? Yes. Where's Regardless. the jaw? Where's the jaw? <laughs> exactly. Regardless Wait, of the Wait, let's ask Frank his dating question. Right. Oh, we're so. going right to, okay. All right. We're so going right to it's not a very smooth segue, but guys. <laughs> Frank! <laughs> we're going to jump Wait, to no, it. No, we have 10 minutes. We have 10 minutes. All right, perfect. So, Connie Frank, you have your, <laughs> yeah. your show. You have, uh, whatever. Okay. Yeah. So Frank, what was what's, his last date? So, Frank, what's your status now? Last time you were single. Yeah. All right, so what's your status now? I don't know. Okay. How's the dating I life? I hung out with Crispy a couple of times. <laughs> I love the jokes. I, like, I hung Jack. out with Crispy a couple of times. Did I say Crispy? I hung out with Crispy a couple of times. That's Did nice. I say Crispy? I didn't oh say Crispy. My, is this I hung out with Crispy a couple of times. All right, so how was that experience? <laughs> fun. Probably amazing. It was fun. All right. I took one on a date to Toys R Us. That's no! It. Wait, what? You went on a date to Toys R Us? <laughs> was that fun at Toys R Us? Yeah. It was pretty fun, wasn't it? I like it? doing something like that. All right, that's perfect. I beat up the Ninja Turtles. So I <laughs> Wait, that what? Makes me laugh. They tried like to attack that. me. I was like, bullshit. No way. Were you like a splinter? See, I like and you were like, like I killed them. I came out of retirement, my martial arts days. Is I, that I, true? I did. I hula hooped in there. <laughs> I wasn't good at it. So, Frank, what are you looking for an ideal mate? I don't think he's looking for one. Nah, I, um, I think he is. I, uh, I don't think an ideal good. mate. Yeah. What kind of characteristics are you? Because for us, because we believe in the power of attraction, clarity. Oh, clarity. Attraction. What so does that mean? Clarity. Yeah, power when, clarity. So once you're clear about what you want, you attract oh, I it. You. I got you. But you have to be clear about what you want. So think about it. So that might be my problem. Probably. Although I feel like it's an easy fix. Okay. So if you, were, if you were clear about what type of mate that you want to attract, what would that look like? What kind of characteristics would that person have? 
I need some cashews, Jeff. Because we have a <laughs> we have a large array of viewers, and you know. We um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, what's up with the cashews? <laughs> Hold on. I need cashews on this one. Good. Um, Thank God. Uh, That's your Zephyr director. Right. So, what are the ideal? What's some ideal character? Come on, you have somebody to know. I feel comfortable eating in front of. That's it. What? what are you in front of me. Yeah, Wait, I know. Frank, that's like the lamest thing ever. Tell I know. me something no, else. No, it's not. I, I like that. <laughs> uh, somebody. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody who. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. See, I'm not clear. Is that my issue? I'm totally your issue. Yeah. This is, is free life coaching. I know. It is? How do you not know? I'm going to have to write a check after this to everybody. <laughs> no, I'll send she's you a giving check. you free. I'll hire your bill. <laughs> so, wait. Do you not believe that in order to attract the person you want, you have to be clear about it? I don't think he's thinking like that. I don't think that way. Oh, wow. I'm not saying I think right, but I don't think no, that I know. way. All uh -huh. right, so think about it. Yeah, if yeah. you were to pick the top five characteristics These are good, Jeff. in a woman Costco? that you want, what would it be? I'll help you out. This dump. Uh, Go ahead. I want Am I any of those? Intelligence. Great. Okay, good. I, you're ready to Is that a good one? Okay. I want What's intelligence. I'm not it. You know that. that. And intelligence meaning like, you know, life experience. No, it doesn't have to be uh, Einstein. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. But Somebody I could have a conversation with. Right. I don't want like, not that I'm a genius, but still. Right. You want to have an intelligent, interesting conversation. Yeah. Stimulating. Somebody I could bring something to better me, maybe a different perspective, whatever it might right. be. Right. All right. Perfect. What yeah. else? Uh, someone who is not. Oh, don't talk about not. Talk about what you want. Oh, I see. Not You're so gonna get double now. Yeah. Uh, not so negative. He's getting a free session. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I want somebody who is. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god, I, I can tell really you 50 know. things I wanted a guy. You do? Go. Oh my god, totally. I don't know. What? I don't know. Oh my god. All right, guys, so listen out there. If you want to attract your ideal mate, you have to be clear about what you want. Really? Yes. But there are so many different like things out there. It's human All right, beings. So, so let's it's not like it's way. a widget. It's like it's, 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 right. it doesn't please. matter. Yes, it does. So think about it like this. Do you want someone who's confident or someone who's sappy? I don't want a sap. Confident. Who wants a sap? And nobody's going like to say I want a sap. But you didn't like say saps. it. You like saps? But you didn't I like, say it. I like Yeah, but nobody, I that's like, like saying, do you want, uh, you know, but it, someone you who's an idiot or you want somebody who's like, no, I don't I want like somebody caring. Idiot. Yeah, but if you're not clear, meaning you can't uh, hold say on. it. I don't want sappy. I like yeah. affectionate people. Right. You want someone who's affectionate. Frank's not very No, I'm not that. No, I'm not. Do you want a girl who's affectionate? He's not overly. I'm not really into that. But what about. You can't condemn me for that. It's my choice. I don't want to condemn you. I'm like getting hard on you now. Get it. All right. So what else? <laughs> what Frank, else? I just don't get you it. You want a girl who's confident. I do. Someone Confidence who's emotionally good. connected. And somebody who doesn't want to touch you. <laughs> what? No. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Wait, we were in a roll. Yeah, we were doing good. Wait. He doesn't like affection. Right. That's okay. I didn't say I didn't like affection. Mm. I think he's not clear about what he wants, so affectionate hasn't made it to the list, but I feel like it would if he just became clear about what he wanted. Mm. Right. Right? It's all right. Do you want a girl who's confident? Yeah, confidence good. Do you want her to be happy? I want confidence, actually. Do you want happy? Of course I want happy. What do you mean? All right, but you didn't say it on your, you didn't say it. Like for me, I would say I want a dude who's happy. Well, there's happy some things that are like obvious. No, nothing's not obvious. obvious. Not in life, no. You gotta be clear. Really? Yeah. I mean, happy? I don't want somebody who's miserable. Some people aren't happy. True. You gotta be clear, dude. Come on, you gotta be clear. You want them? You want them to be happy? Do you want them to be optimistic? Do you have any weird hangups? Yeah, I don't want negative people. You want them to be open? You want them to be clear-minded? Oh, great! We're taking callers, guys. Call in. Call in. It's probably Cosmo Sherry. Is it Cosmo Sherry? It's probably somebody for Frank. Tell him to list the question and we'll answer it. But seriously, good for that. so does that make sense? It does make sense. You it gotta, really does make sense. You have to be clear. And something like happy, which we take for granted, 
I'll be honest with you, 95 percent of the population isn't happy. True. They're just not. That's right. So you got to be clear. I want someone who's happy, someone who's like easygoing, someone who's open-minded, someone who wants to have fun, someone who's spontaneous, someone who's social. Mm-hmm. Like you can rattle that shit Somebody off. Somebody who's fast. affectionate. Someone who's affectionate, <laughs> someone who loves to love, someone who wants to try new things, someone who's, you someone know. Someone who loves to love. Yeah. I like that Dude, one. we love everything. I love everything. Someone likes to go pumpkin picking? Someone who loves to go <laughs> pumpkin picking. Why? Because it's something to try. I picked six pumpkins Larry last Saturday. You did six some Larry, have Larry call in. Larry? Oh my God, it might be Amanda's husband. It is. Oh, I love him. Let him call in. He can call Let him call in. I love Larry. Myself? Have him call myself. Yeah. I'm I'm how do you know it's Amanda's husband? Of course. We love Larry. I love Larry. Larry. He's yeah, great. Larry, Larry, Larry would, in. You would love Larry. Larry Legend. You would love Larry, actually. He's like him. <laughs> All right. So tell Larry I'm to call in. I'm not looking for Larry. Larry's not on the list. <laughs> Sorry, no, Larry. Does, it, does that make sense? <laughs> it does All make right, sense. All right. So give me some ideas Have Larry of some call in. line characteristics that you would want to. Uh, Larry, call myself. <laughs> include in your woman. I want intelligence. Why I like the confidence part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she can't. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Positive, uh-huh. of course, always positive. Um, okay. Driven. I like a driven. I like yeah, you like a dude. You like an ambitious chick. Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. want someone who just sits at home like? No, I don't. No. All right. Well, no. Yeah. What else? You asked for five. I give you four. I can right? give you fifty. I can't I give you fifty. I, what? I can't give you fifty. I don't know. Are you kidding me? You didn't tell me to practice, like prepare. Come on, <laughs> Frank. This is called free life coaching. Is I this know. the real time? Um, I don't, I don't look at this God. one. She's all over she's, the place. She's looking at the plants. God, you guys Bright are colors, in a conversation. You're part of the no. interview. Oh no! <laughs> but think about <laughs> you it. Guys you guys love me. Yeah. No, you know, even somebody who stays focused. No, I'm just kidding. Yes, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That was yeah. hurtful. That was hurtful. It's the same thing. So think <laughs> about it, dude. Frank, we know. It's about being clear about what, what you want in your partner. Right. It right, makes go sense. Ahead. Go Definitely get Larry. Sense. I'm clear. Believe right. me, I'm clear. No, I know you're clear. I know what totally I want. Clear. Am I getting right. it, guys? Am I getting it? What's up, Larry? You're on date night with Connie and Chrissy. Come on, speaker. Come on, speaker. Don't close your mic. Hold on. Larry? Gone. He got trigger gunshot. Oh, oh, my phone died, Jeff. <laughs> I Don't thought he was call calling my her phone. phone. Larry, know. call Connie's phone. My phone it? died. What? Give out, Connie, you gotta give out your number now. I'm live on the air. So wait, we're still on air, right? Yeah. All right, so <laughs> let, you, let Frank just. Number. This is a. Uh, yeah. So am I supposed to like visualize what I want? No, you have to be clear. So what I always suggest, and this is like advice that I would give to anyone that's one of my uh, clients, and it's like amazing and worth like a lot of money. So take it and uh, and uh, do what you want with it. But sure was the more clear you are about what you want, and you write a list, like you should write like a list, list of everything. I write lists. Like what you want them to be like, how you want them to f- make you feel. You know, like be really specific, and you'll be surprised that the more specific you are, the more specific you're going to attract. Yeah. Yeah. And then what you do is, too, like, once you get clear, you're going to then go on dates. And then you're going to have people that are going to have some of the qualities, and maybe not all, but then you have to give yourself credit for saying, wow, that person was really good looking, or wow, that person was really intelligent, or wow, that person was really affectionate. And maybe they don't have all other 30 qualities, but that's okay. You're getting closer to what you want. Okay. And then you're not, not going to stop until you get all 30 qualities? No, but you'll know the person that you meet, but you have to appreciate every person along the way. Right, right, right. So, like, I know for me when I was dating, I'd be like, wow, you're really cool. You're really intelligent. You're really fun. I'm not into you, but, wow, that's great that I attracted those qualities of what I wanted. And then you just kind of move on. And then what's great is you become friends with these people, and it's nothing, you know, personal. But the more clear you are, the more you know, likely you are to attract what you want. It's like freaking magic. Who so basically, um, I don't know. Psychic? Huh. I wish you're psychic. So basically you're telling Frank what? To be clear, and I'm telling everyone out there, be clear about the partner that you want to attract. You know what I think there's a lack of out there? So Frank's yeah. finding somebody else. Really, like Jack overall up. in life. Yeah. People don't listen. It wasn't ringing. <laughs> But if they don't listen, that's fine. But then your life is going to be mediocre. And for me, a mediocre life fucking sucks. What do you mean? No, what does that do with not listening? If you don't listen and you don't apply any of the things that you learn to make your life better, 
But I like people that listen. Oh, you're saying, yeah, all yes. right. So then you should add that to your list. I'll Someone who's supportive. Side. I know that's on my list. Not Someone who's supportive. Well, just listen, like listen, because I'm a pretty good listener. To be honest with you. Okay. And I always he say people hear, people hear, but they don't not listen. He always says right. that. That's his so pet then, peeve. You need so to then, listen. Right, but then that should be on your list that you want someone who's a listener and supportive. It's important. You have to right. listen to people. You have to listen. That's right. Not I just agree. to your but to everybody. Listen. You have to listen. Right. But he doesn't but, like affection. But the difference is you. <laughs> Why even, is that? Even though you listen, it doesn't mean you're going to agree. Can we dissect that? That's fine, okay. but it still need to be heard, though. All right. Well, you have to listen. Okay, she said it's going to voicemail, Jeff. You have it in your hand. Larry? She says it's going to voicemail. I think you call my number. Hold on. Let Frank keep talking. Yeah. Oh, people are listening. All right. <laughs> people are listening. <laughs> That's a genius. I love All right, it. let's ask uh, right. Frank, what, what are your hang-ups? Hang-ups? <laughs> yeah. He doesn't, look, like, he doesn't like, like eating. He doesn't like eating I don't think early. that's a hang-up. Oh, wait, wait. Don't like eating He doesn't early? like hanging out late. No, we're not wrapping up. My diet's a hang-up. All right, guys, it's nine. Does the diet affect oh my God, anything like, like that? What do you mean, your diet? Does the diet we're affect anything? We're wrapping like up, guys. I am trying really. to go live diet called, called Larry. What's the, the problem? Worst. I don't eat all day until late at night. I then tried I eat a lot. Oh, I do that too. Oh, see, that's good. That's, but that's how I, I stay it's my slim. lifestyle. Yeah, it's fine. It works for me. All right, good. Yeah. All right, so that's a non-issue then. That's not a non-issue. Do issue. I have a hang-up? Yeah. yeah. What is it? You don't. You have to I'm eat not, by I'm, a certain I'm not time. affectionate. You can't. Yes. Now wait. Would you? But say who's that a hang-up for? Hang on. The per anybody. Oh, wait. I feel the more clear that you are, you would be more affectionate. Perhaps. Perhaps. So be with somebody who's not affectionate. I don't but, know. But me not having hang on. But let's just pretend okay. I didn't want to be affectionate. Who's yeah. that to hang up for? I feel uh, like anybody who doesn't want to show affection to somebody you that never they love. Call you I never can't. know. <laughs> you never know. You never know. I'm me. just saying. So you, you want know. somebody? So you want? Let me get this straight now. Connie was doing. I didn't say hold anything. On. Hold on. So you want somebody who's not affectionate at all? I know. Did I say that? No, I think the clear so you're not listening. he's going to be affectionate. Here we go. Now I'm not, so I'm not, not listening. listening. He's gonna be this is what he, he likes playing that card. Good. Good. I think Frank would be affectionate. I think he would be. Thank okay. you. Got when? Me. I think, I think so. <laughs> Why are you siding with him? No, I'm not. What about me? No, there's no sides. You're supposed to help me. There's so no sides. Are you looking like for a voicemail, Jeff. There's are you no looking, sides. Are you looking for a long-term relationship? Oh, yes. yeah. Good point. Yes. You are? When? Yes. Oh, you are. Okay. Yes. So do you think if you do your list, you'll be more apt to... Um, I think that list that you that, that idea that you just said is it's worth looking genius. into. It's genius. Let me tell you. All right. Well, then I'll look into it. Exactly. You know why? Yeah. yeah it's, it was, it's not worth <laughs> <laughs> So, right. So you want someone who listens. Okay, good. All right. So, Frank, what's a turn off in a girl? They want... Cutting <laughs> me off. Don't cut me off. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What's it turn on? Is killed over. What's a turn on? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna lose it. Uh <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hurry What's up, Jeff on? is killed over. Intelligence is a turn on. Intelligence. Or Jeff. Okay. Right, Intelligence good. is a turn on. Jeff's trying to go to bed. I get impressed, I like that. James is gonna right. go to a speed dating event. <laughs> They're doing right, so there's some kind of rodeo going on behind the camera. So like, so wait, <laughs> so the gist of the thing is, if you're looking for a partner, I give the up. Case be, <laughs> the point is, be, Crazy Chrissy gives up on everything. No, no yeah, you don't. That's the moral of the Just story today. Just be really guys. clear about what you want in your partner. And I am. List it. I am clear. And now. And now you are clear. What, this, what happened? How did this become about her over there? I don't know. All right, let's bring it back to you. What's you, want, you want to swing it back to you? This is, I'm the guest. This is my third time Do here. your split. Do your split. Come on. This is my third time. Fine, let's talk about you again. He doesn't like One, love. One, two, three, oh eyes God. on me. He doesn't like love. He doesn't like affection. Where's Larry? Did we get out of here? I want to know where Larry's Did we going? establish this? Because I don't remember establishing Where's this. Where's Larry? Larry, where are you? Why aren't you calling in? He Where's the attorney? These were never established. Oh, my God, I got somebody. These were never today. established as facts. Larry? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Who is it? Oh my God, Larry, I love you. Finally, Larry, jeez. I got 7%, hurry up. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. we can hear you. Hurry Go up, because you got to wrap it up. Do you have a question for Frank? I can barely hear anybody there, but... Uh, what is your question? The question is, because you guys are still doing law of attraction, which I totally don't mind. You know, okay, good. I love, You're okay, talking go. very low, good. I hear. He doesn't but buy law of attraction. I would love Larry. <laughs> he would love him. You and Frank would get along. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, Why don't like love Yeah, come on. Let's get to this. Laugh. Why not? Laugh. Yes. 
All right, go ahead. Why speak, doesn't he get speak your words? Ask him. I'm coming over. <laughs> get to your question. Why not? Ask him why not. Well, what's your question? Well, no, the question is like, that that's essentially what you're pursuing. My thing is basically, you know, it's, it, you, you make it happen on your own. It's, you know, it's, it's you know, I understand you know, what you're saying. When it comes back, I don't buy into that, you know. It's just, you go out and you got to be you. I understand what you're saying. Hang on, I want to hear. Mm -hmm. All confused. Larry. He's saying you make it on your own. He's not saying there's some outside force making it happen. Right. Force that makes it happen. That's no, why, but that's Larry, what, what happens is, if you're happy, you're more likely to attract happy people. If you're negative, you're more apt to attract ne negative people. So the goal is, energetically, you attract what you put out. So it all depends what you put out. That's it. La. Yeah. Are you there? <laughs> do you agree with that? Hurry up, we got to wrap. Well, you don't Larry, do you want to attract the girl that puts <laughs> out? <laughs> is that what you yeah, want? It's got to be the right time, right place. All right, what's your answer for yeah, what? Yeah, if you're in alignment with feeling good, you're more likely to be in the right place. If you're more in alignment with not feeling good, you're more likely to be in a place with people similar to you, which are complaining, whiny, and not happy. La? Which you could agree with that, Larry. Okay, I can, I can see that. Point Why do you think Frank you? doesn't like affection? Why does Frank not like affection? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it might not be he likes it from the person he's getting it from. Oh, great. Whoa. So he doesn't like me? Oh, oh, oh. Larry Legend. Larry! <laughs> Larry La Legend. Yes. That was nice. You love me. Yes, I'm, I'm a big fan. Have, have I made Tito's? Have we had tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I love Larry. Come on, Larry. Hi, hey, Larry. I'm hanging up on you. Thanks You're not helping me. Larry, we love you. Thanks, Larry. Love you, La. Tell him we said I love her. So the world is a boomerang? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Yeah. All right, Larry what was you set. Put out, you get Thank you for calling in. We love you guys. However you feel is what you attract back. Remember that song? Come on. Give a little <laughs> love <laughs> and it all comes back <laughs> I don't know to you. Song. Da, I love what he's saying. I don't know that song. You're you going to be no, remembered like for the singing. things <laughs> that you say and do. I don't know. Da, 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 I don't know. All right, so Frank, where can everybody find you? Bugsy Malone's the movie. Malone. Frank, Jeff wants to wrap it up. He's lying on the floor. James has to go with speed our dating. Our producer, our videographer. Our director and videographer. After a Halloween party. This is a really great today. set, though. Congratulations. Thank it you. But Frank, where great. can everybody Thank find you? you. Frankvetro.com. Frankvetro.com. Buy his book on Amazon right now. There's one for $301. That's, That's my right. sign. That's the one I signed. Are it's you kidding me? Who's selling it? It was one for $301. Cosmo Sherry. That what? Is ridiculous, Frank. That was there's sure there's we books love out you. there. Hey, the books are going good, guys. Get them. They're jumping off the shelf. They really everybody are. should read kidding. the book. I'm really not kidding about that one. No, everybody really should read and the, the book. And the gist of the book is when you experience something negative in life, there's mm -hmm. certainly a way to turn it around. And, that, that's and what Frank, Frank did that. Don't give up. Right. right. Don't Believe give up. Don't, don't ever give up. I bought you that shirt for your birthday. You don't, you don't Wait, what care. is the shirt? Exactly. He doesn't care. What does it say? Go ahead, Frank. Don't give up. Don't ever get the V Foundation. Not V, me, but uh -huh. Jim Valvano. Great story. You should watch that. Mm. She's not going to watch it. It's a great story. Really? Okay. <laughs> it's a great story. Is it? Or like I the best can't. public speaker of all time. Jeff's wrapping us up. All right, so Frank, we love you so much. We love you. <laughs> um, again, where can we find you? Frankvetro.com. Frankvetro.com. And watch him on W-L-I-N-Y, Monday. Wednesday, Friday, 4.30, Eastern Standard And Tuesday time. with Phil Jacino. Tuesday night at 8. But just, if you just go to frankvetro.com, you get all the radio shows, the book, me, mm -hmm. everything. Just go there. And <laughs> Connie and Chrissy will be on with you guest hosting yeah, on, right on. Yeah. on Tuesday. So listen, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. And just to repeat, on Monday night, we are having the biggest Halloween bash on Long Island. Oh, is Frank going? Ask Frank. Oh, Quickly, before we go of to Of course end. it's coming. Of course it's Ask coming. Ask Frank if he's going. We're going to be hanging out with Frank Bruce Young? Cubs, Heart Agency at Cape Pow Show in New Hyde Park on Monday night. I think it starts at like 9 maybe. Ask it's an open been. bar for one hour from 9 to 10. Tickets are 20 bucks, which is like nothing. Inbox That's nothing. us. Connie Henriquez, Chrissy Bogue on Facebook. And uh, Frank Vetro is totally going to be there because he's like uh, a date night freaking uh, fan. Right. What are you going to be, Frank? Exactly. He's going to be a doctor. What? All right, guys. Thanks, thanks for tuning in. Happy Friday. See you next week. Good night. Daynighttv.com. I love that Larry called it.